So next we're going to look at an example. And in this case, we're given, we're given three points. Okay. Um, now I'm not going to try to actually plot these. I mean, we could sort of try to plot them accurately, but I don't know. There's P, right? I don't know. Q, R. Let's pretend that those are, those are the points, right? So th those three points, of course, they, they determine a triangle. And that triangle has to lie in a plane somewhere. And so we're, our goal here is to find the equation of that plane. So what you do in these situations is you look for two vectors. Because we want what we want, remember, is this normal vector. And remember that the normal vector has to be orthogonal to every vector in the plane. Right? So in particular, we have three potential vectors in the plane sort of sitting here staring at us. We could take the vector uh, from P to R. We could take this vector here from P to Q. And of course, you could also take the vector uh, from Q to R. Um, feel free to play around, and you will find that it really doesn't matter which one you take. You'll get the same answer whichever way you, you decide to go. Right? And so we can take those two vectors and use them to construct our normal vector. Right? So our normal vector, I'm going to do PQ cross PR. Okay. So I, J, K, and of course we need those vectors. So what are those vectors? So PQ. Uh, we do head minus tail. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 1 minus 0 is minus 1. And PR, head minus tail, we get minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. So those are the vectors we're going to use in our cross product. 0, 1. Minus 1, and then minus 1, 0, 2. And we work this all out. Um, we've been doing these cross products for a while now. Maybe I'll, I'll jump the intermediate steps. But remember, for i, we do this 2 by 2 here. So it's going to be 2 minus 0, 2. For j, it's going to be 0 subtract 1, which is 1, but j comes with a minus sign. So the minus, extra minus sign there, minus 1. For k, 0, subtract minus 1, plus 1. So 2, minus 1, 1. And again, if we want to make sure that we actually have a normal vector, make sure I didn't make a sign mistake, because I could have made a sign mistake, um, we can check dot products and see if it works. So with the first one, I get 0, Minus 1, ah, there's a mistake somewhere, right? So I think, in fact, let me double check that j again. So it's going to be 2 subtract 1 with an extra minus sign. So yes, that's why we do the check. Plus 1. OK, so it's going to be 0 plus 1 minus 1. 0 for the first dot product. Minus 2 plus 0 plus 2. 0 for the second dot product. So now we know we have a normal vector. Um, next thing we need oops, is a point in the plane. And we have three to choose from. We can take P, Q, or R. We've kind of been using P as the reference point, so maybe we'll, we'll stick with that. And so. We'll take P naught to be P, which is 1, 1, 0. And so what do we get? We get, and you can, you know, you can jump straight to here. Some people like to start with the vector equation. They find it easier to remember, and then they multiply with the dot product to get to the sort of standard form. Why not? Let's do it that way. You can skip this first step if you want. 
So first we write down the normal vector, 2, 1, 1. Okay. There's n dotted with. So it's going to be x minus 1, y minus 1, z minus 0 equals 0. Okay. And then we multiply out the dot product. So 2 times x minus 1 plus 1 times y minus 1 plus 1 times z equals 0. That's our standard form. We can, uh, we can stop there. If we want, we could always do one more step to get to the general form. 2x plus y plus z. So we get 2, so minus 2, minus 1, minus 3. If we bring that to the other side, we would get a 3.